Hello there and welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? My name is Achola. If you are new, welcome and thank you for clicking on this video. Um, here on Achola's Closet, we talk personal style and just how to look and feel your best at any budget. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit on that subscribe button and don't forget to hit on the bell so you get notified every time your girl drops a video. Now, I dropped my Oscars red carpet video yesterday and you guys seem to enjoy that. And so I thought, why don't I follow up with the Vanity Fair after party? Um, I thought we'll just do a quick video today recapping some of my favorite looks from the after party because as you probably know, a lot of the people who were not at the red carpet of course showed up at the after party and boy did they bring the A games and um, so I figured why don't we talk about those looks. Um, and with that being said, honestly, before we dive into the video, <laughs> if you are wondering what I am wearing, I just decided today I want to be comfortable, you know I've got no makeup on my face um, and I have on my H&M beautiful floral blouse here and it comes with matching pants of course that let's just dive right into the video. So the first couple that I actually really enjoy seeing on the red carpet or at the Vanity Fair after party is uh, Kim Kardashian in Alexander McQueen vintage look and Kanye West in Alfred Dunhill. Now this I think is such a cool look. Um, I love the Alexander McQueen dress. I think it fits like it fits her beautifully. And then for Kanye, I just love him in that leather suit. Of course, keeping with the leather trend. Um, it has been a while since we actually seen him out looking this good, so I'm like, boy, um, let's talk another Kara Jenner sister, and that is Miss Kylie. Of course, she had to come to the vanity after party. Now, she is wearing Ralph and Russo, and I just think this dress is stunning on this girl. I mean, she has an amazing body, and so, of course she likes to show it up whenever she has a chance and i like it i think this is very classy very elegant and i just love the design of the dress itself the little details at the front i think it's just exquisite next up i've got florence who and she is wearing louis vuitton now this one here is such a perfect look I didn't talk about her on the red carpet because I just thought her outfit was blah. But this right here is such an amazing look for this woman. I think the hair is done beautifully. I love the pop of red. I've got, of course, Miss Sandra O. Oh. Now, Sandra O oh continues on with the ruffles and the theatric look throughout the night um, from the uh, red carpet to the after party. Now here she is wearing Kong Tri or Kong Tree and this dress here, I mean, this, I think it just needed to go, like, no. And um, the body of the dress itself, I just wish it was a little bit more fitted because it just looks so loose from like the waist down that it's just, no, it's not a good look. Um, next up, however, Miss Scarjo again, knocking us on our heads and heels. Um, she is wearing another Oscar de la Renta piece. Now this one here again is such a Grecian, amazing, fantastic look. For her, that's a two for two for the night and I am proud of this woman. Um, this right here is just fantastic. I think the simplicity of the dress and of course she continued that with the same 
simple hair look, accessories, and I just, I love it. I think she served us looks, and she is definitely one of the, not even one of, she is absolutely the best dressed woman for the 2020 Oscars. Um, comment below and let me know if you agree or disagree, and um, who you thought was your favorite. I would like to know as well. Now, next up, I have Miss Winnie Harlow. Now, this girl usually looks beautiful, but tonight, I think this Vivian Westwood dress is just a little bit ill-fitting, and I don't get it, you know? Um, I think the top is just, it doesn't look nice, and the skirt even, I, it's not interesting. I'm just like, no, let's move on. Carrie Washington channeling Cleopatra in Zuhair Murad. Now, this piece right here is from the same collection as um, Yusra dress from the red carpet. Now, this one here was actually one of my favorite looks on the um, runway. I actually love it. And I think it looks amazing on Carrie Hilson. Carrie Washington. Um, but no, I think she just pulls this outfit so well and carries one of these women. She puts on a look and she wears it with such confidence and class that you're just like, even if you don't like it, you'll be like, I actually like it because, you know, she just carries it so well. Joel Madden and Nicole Richie. Now she is wearing Etro. I mean... Like zooming into the dress, it's beautifully fit and then it has the little like ruffle tail on the back that I think is really beautiful. Now she paired that with some super like elbow long gloves. I mean, she honestly looked so beautiful and um, the dress is just stunning. Now the husband just looked like you know, I mean, you gotta accompany your wife to the carpet, right? I've got Carolina Karakova, and she is wearing Etro Couture. Now, this right here is a sheer moment for me. I love this look. I think it's very interesting. I love the bodysuit underneath as well. Um, the little belt, I really like it. I just think this is such a cool, trendy look that I am here for. I have Frida Pinto in emerald green velvet Galia Le Havre dress. Now this here, talk about dress. Um, I think the neckline is just like, the neckline is perfect on her. And um, that high slit, like that hip high, let's just say hip high slits, was the thing for this night. And so, of course, everybody was bringing their thighs game to the party. And honestly, I love this. I love the big poofy sleeve of the dress. I think she just looks beautiful. We need to discuss this. I mean, up here now, I have Miss Joan Smalls in Scaparelli Art Couture. Now, this girl, I think she just... Hmm. I mean, like... I'm just trying to figure out what holds the cups of the dress. You know what I mean? Because I feel like she is missing just a little bit of that dress. And I honestly, I don't even like this dress one bit. I don't. Um, the different teal and blue color, I hate it. Um, the little sequined bra cups. I hated it as well. I just, I can't. No. 
Next up, we have Miss Vanessa Hudgens. Now she is wearing this purple slip dress by Vera Wang. I mean, I love this purple on her. I think it looks amazing. Now here's the thing. Do we really have to bring the strings along? Because, no honey, those strings didn't have to be there. They need to go. I think I would have liked this dress better, just plain and simple. We've got my favorite girl from OC, and that is Sophia Bush. Now she is wearing this, oh my God. I don't understand why we need to dress like an old lady when we're not like are we in a rush to be old is that what it is because if that's what it is then okay honey you have accomplished that I'll take it I'm I would have ditched the pants all together rock that blazer as a dress with some sexy strappy sandals that would have been an awesome look for me personally or if we wanted to do a pantsuit i mean we can keep the jacket but just make the pants a little bit more skinny up you've got miss rebel wilson in this pink again the woman has done it for me that's a two for two and I am so happy just to see her, you know, embrace her body and wear things that actually looks beautiful on her and suits her body and style and figure. You know what I mean? Now, I mean, I'm just gonna sit here and take this moment all in because Miss Hailey Bieber in this beautiful black number right here. I mean, sexy, classy, very elegant. I mean, the woman is stunning. I love this dress on her. Um, but I just thought she looked amazing and the dress, I'm just like, oh my God, I need, I need that dress in my life. I do. I just think it's stunning and she wears it so well. So from one stunning, classy, amazing look to a trashy, I don't even know what to call it, look right here on Emily. Fredikowski and um, of course she's wearing her own label in Amarada and um, I mean if that's what she's selling I am not interested in buying any of this like absolutely not I mean white looks good on her but really I mean she looked like she forgot the top part of her dress at home and she needs to go back and get it. That's just how I feel. So no, we will not spend more time talking about this basic, you know, no, night. Absolutely not. Um, next up, we've got Miss Chrissy. Tegan, she is wearing this mint green number that I don't understand and you know, I am I'm like I almost at a point where I'm just like she needs to stop with the sheer dresses already like Wear something else. She is a supermodel. I'm sure she can get a lot of looks from the runway if she wants, you know what I'm talking about? Like she can get any look from the red carpet if she wants, but yeah, she just keep choosing this cheap looking outfits. And I'm like, why? Like, I like the woman. I think she is a beautiful woman. Um, great personality and all, but her dresses, a lot of the times they just don't even do justice. Like. From one pregnant woman on the red carpet 
to another pregnant woman at the after party. Now let's talk Sierra. I mean, the woman showed up and showed out. I mean, now this right here is a beautiful pregnant woman. I think she, like pregnancy looks good on this girl. Um, however, let's talk the Ralph and Russo number. I think it is a good look, but I'm not like wow by it, right? Like I'm like, okay, she look good. Like again, the hip high slits, um, everybody's doing it. The asymmetrical top and I'm just like, okay. I've got Charlie Puth in mustard Fendi men's suit. Now this one here, I actually love it. I think the color is great. We didn't see a lot of color on men on the red carpet. And so this here, I'm just like, yes, Charlie, give me color, yes. Um, however, I think the pants could have fit just a tiny bit better, but that is it for me. I mean, color looks good on him. Another one that I didn't love, of course, is Behati Prince Lou, and she decided to wear Tom Ford um, vintage piece for Gucci, I believe. And um, this number here is a tank top, a low waist skirt with the thong strings kind of hanging on the waist. And I'm like, why? Like, ladies, here's the thing. If there is one thing that you should never show at events or parties, whatever, that is your underwear, okay? Like, and that's why they're called underwears, because they're supposed to sit under the garments. I don't understand this, and I mean, I don't even understand how her husband kind of just supported her walking out of the house like this. I. I can't. Oh, from one Victoria's Secret supermodel to another Victoria's Secret supermodel. Next up, I have Adriana Lima in this silk Ralph and Russo number. And boy, is she giving me some shiny legs and I am loving it. I thought this look is just stunning on her. Like the white is beautiful, the crystal details on the right hand side is just amazing and then top that with the leggings like i mean she looked beautiful and that right there i need in my closet as well we've also got miss joey king in three as four i've never heard of that brand but this dress right here this is like a me dress. Like I will literally take that off of her and just wear it because it's such a beautiful dress and I love the brown as well. Like for me personally, I love this kind of dark browns. So then when I put it on, it almost feels like I'm not wearing anything, but yet I am wearing something, if you know what I mean. Um, but no, I just thought the dress is beautiful. Her makeup, of course, is flawless. And I love that she paired it with that pointy toe pumps, of course. Just beautiful. Like, she looked really cute. And I just love that look. Um, no, no. Ooh. Okay. So another look that I thought was beautiful. Very angelic very giving me african like african style inspiration now we've got miss megaline um echi kunwake i hope i'm saying that right um but i just thought this woman looks Stunning in this white piece. I mean, ah, uh, I love the top part. I know that one is separate, and then you have the full white dress also by itself. 
but together I just thought it made such a beautiful number and the little cutout details on the side here as well just completed the outfit so well and I mean she looked like a goddess okay so I mean leave it to the one and only Miss Tracy Alice Ross to give you a gold moment on the carpet or more to like shut the night down if you know what I mean now Miss Tracy here showed up in Zuhair Murad of course from his Egyptian inspired collection um, same as Kerry Washington they're all the same collection now this one here again I just love this piece the cape design the dress itself is just done so beautifully like just the little details and the gold on her skin is just This dress right here just took my breath away. I love this dress on her, fit her like gloves. And then of course she done the hair all up just so the dress can be, you know, like give the dress its moment that it deserves. And um, completed that of course with the red lipstick I thought was just mm, on point. All right, and that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Now, I would like to know who you thought was your best dress and your worst dress, of course, from the after party. Tell me all about it in the comment section. And um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also hit on that subscribe button. Or you can even hit on my face right here in the circle. Yes, just right there and join the family. Also hit on the bell so you get notified every time your girl drops a video. But with that being said, I will see you in my next one and bye.